The Special Collections Library on the MSU campus is a hidden gem for anglers. It holds one of the world's largest collections of books about trout and salmon all under one roof. And now with a donation from Fly Fishers International, it's about to get bigger. MTN's Matt Elwell has the story. It seemed like just a great fit to have a home for, for researchers, materials, for those interested in getting a line in Montana's waters. James Thull is excited about Fly Fishers International's decision to give the Rennie Library's Special Collections Library two to 3,000 volumes of materials for their trout and salmonid collection this year. We've been talking for several years about how to come out, kind of maximize our efforts. The collection is already impressive. They have materials dating back to 1531 and other rare gems. We, we have a book here in our library at MSU that uh, was actually held by, the, held by the hands of Isaac Walton, which I think is a pretty neat thing. As for the collaboration between MSU and FFI, it's a win-win. You have the idea of everything is stronger together, so the idea that those books here make our collection stronger and a better resource for researchers and anglers. With thousands of volumes of written material, the wealth of information here is staggering. The oral history collection may be the most cherished aspect that they have, not always about the one that got away. Bud Lilly one day was telling me a story about how when he was guiding, he took an elderly gentleman out fishing. So the guy really couldn't walk that well anymore, couldn't see that well, but he could still cast. And I think they took him out on the Madison and the fish were rising, got him into a nice brown trout. As Bud was releasing the fish, he noticed uh, the man was, was taking apart his rod. And Bud said, you know, what are you doing? The fish are still rising. We can still catch more. And he said, no, that's the last fish I'm ever going to catch. And it was just, I think he died a couple weeks later. It was one of those, it was a powerful story for me. And I think that having a collection like this, having the museum collection that FFI has, just allows us to add another dimension to the sport. From the stacks in the Rennie Library on Montana State University campus, Matt Elwell, MTN News.